let's define something called the change of coordinate matrix. To motivate this, let's go back to an example we did in a previous video. We gave a basis of R2. We gave a vector x. And we found the coordinate vector of x with respect to the basis. And to do that, we solved a vector equation. Well, a vector equation is also a matrix equation. So in particular, it's this matrix times an unknown vector C1, C2 equals the vector 2, 3. And now C1 and C2 ended up being the coordinates of this vector. C1 and C2 are the coordinate vector of x with respect to b. The vector 2, 3 is x. And this matrix, if we look at its columns, 1, 0, and 1, 2. And now we go back and we look at this basis, 1, 0, and 1, 2. This matrix has as its columns the vectors in the basis. With this example as our motivation, suppose we have a basis of Rn. Then you see here we had a basis of R2, and later on we had this equation where this matrix matrix shows up, we're going to give this matrix formed of the basis vectors a name. We'll write P sub B. This is the matrix that has these B's as its columns, and we'll call this the change of coordinate matrix from B to the standard basis in Rn. So again, looking at this example, P sub B times the coordinate vector equals X. And that's true in general. If we take this matrix P sub B, 
and we multiply it by the coordinate vector of x with respect to b, we get the vector x. Um, this coordinate vector is always invertible. So we could also say that the coordinate vector of x with respect to b is the inverse of this matrix times x. However, we're writing this down as a purely theoretical statement. I've said before, and I'll say again, that we shouldn't actually be finding inverses. Having said that, the fact that this inverse exists is significant. And we'll see why soon. So since it is significant, maybe I should provide a little commentary. Um, this is invertible by the invertible matrix theorem. The columns of this matrix are linearly independent because bases are linearly independent. And the invertible matrix theorem says that the columns being linearly independent is equivalent to a matrix having an inverse.